Hey there DIYers. Today I'm going to show you how to put text behind your yourself or another image inside of CapCut. So let's go ahead and get into it. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and open up CapCut. So here we have CapCut. We want to create a new project. Once that's loaded, now if you haven't already done this, um, go ahead and go to the menu and we want to go to settings. And then under the edit tab, we want to ensure this arrange layers button is checked. And that way it'll allow you to do the layering like we're like we're needing to. So once you got that set, go ahead and click save. So first of all, you want to uh, pull in the video that you're uh, working on that you want to uh, use use for the uh, for your editing. So it's like, so if I was going to do this for my um, my cover, I can go ahead and click on cover, and we'll pull that up, and then we'll find a particular uh, particular um, clip, and let's say this where I'm kind of pointing back, looking at something. So we'll go ahead and click edit. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make a duplicate of this image because we want one image to be the background and then the other image to where it's going to outline my my body and cut out all the background. So to do that, we're going to come up here on the uh, three ellipses and we'll click duplicate. Okay, so now that's um, duplicated. So now the right now the top image is selected. To, pr to prove that or just to verify, we can click off here in the gray area and then we can just click on the top image. So right now there's layers, there's two of these, the ones right on top of each, each other. So now what we can do is we can come over here to this remove background. We'll click on that and we will go ahead and tell it auto removal. And so what it's doing now is it's looking at the image and determining what is human and what is not. So um, now, we can go ahead and bring in some text. So we can come over here to text and we can pick one of these predefined lettering. Let's go ahead and like, let's use this love it template. Okay, so let's bring it up here. Say right above my head like that. And so we can see it's love it. But let's go ahead and change this to my uh, channel name. Okay, Kermit guy. And let's see. I tell you, I don't like these colors. They look a little on the feminine side. So the inside color here, let's go ahead and make that say yellow. And then let's see. And then it's got the shadows. Let's make the shadows black. Okay, and it looks like there's an outline. So let's make the outline. Let's make it black as well. There we go. So we've got that primitive guy. Okay, so as you can see, we have the text is on top of all three layers. So there are three layers. And to prove that, you can look at select layer. So you can, hear, you can see there's the primitive guy, there's this layer, and then the full layer. So you can see there's these different layers. So now we want to arrange layers. So we want, want just we just want to send it backwards, just one. If we send it to back, it'll take it all the way to the back. If we do send backward, it'll just take it back one. So there, I just stepped it back one. So you can see now the text is behind there. Um, one other little feature you can do, and you see a lot of people do this, is on the backward, you know, once you do the uh, re remove background, um, what you can do is you can do different um, shadowing or outlining. Um, like I can put here um, by default, it puts a shadow. Let's say I don't want the shadow, so you can remove that. And so you can put a stroke. So a lot of people do just like a white outline. And so you can see that see it'll, it'll do that. And uh, you can change the uh, thickness of the outline. So there you have it. That's that's all there is to putting text behind a layer, behind an image. And uh, 
So that's how you take a text image and have it behind an image, um, anything that you remove the background on. So you, again, you have three layers here. And again, we'll just look at that real quick. So you can select layers, so it's got all three. So you can see the order. It's got me as the cutout, as the top layer, then the primitive guy is on the second layer, and then the full image is the background. So that's how you do that. And of course, you can save this and uh, then use that for your thumbnail. Um, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments below. So if you like this demonstration, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications for upcoming videos. And until next time.